Hi there! Uh, yeah, this message is for Jehovah's Witnesses. The ones coming to my page. The ones from Madison and North Congregation. How you doing there? Yeah. So here's the deal. Could I possibly persuade you to go to the police? To go to the uh, district attorney's office? and turn in any and all information that you have about child sexual abuse, any kind of abuse, any kind of child abuse within your congregation and within other congregations that you know of or that you have even heard of. It's just an idea, you see. And ideas can be very powerful sometimes. Bells above Henry. Bells above Henry the Third. Is there a child molester at your kingdom hall? Bells above Henry the Third. Would the elders tell you if there were? Hmm. We are no stranger to pain, are we? A lot of us have experienced some pain. And yours truly has experienced quite a bit of pain. And part of that included this young man right here. This is Brother Beelzebub Henry. He likes to bully kids. He likes to bully other people. But he... He selects those who he likes to, uh, you know, use his authority and power over. He doesn't do that to just anybody, you see. But he, he uh, he's made a lot of friends in the uh, congregation in, in JW.org, I shall say. <laughs> oh, no, honey, don't you start gossiping, honey. <laughs> Don't you better not stop gossiping about Brother Beelzebub, Henry the Third Turd, honey boo. <laughs> well, 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 honey. It looks like you have been quite popular, honey, with your own folks. There's a lot of interesting things going around, honey, in your circles, honey boo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So apparently Sister Billy Bertha May Smith and company aren't the only ones that know about some things. Looks like you might want to square some things away with your family, honey. Are there some secrets you forgot to tell your family, honey, boo? <laughs> oh, honey, oh, honey, I don't know nothing about nothing, honey. Look at this beautiful brother right here. Mm-hmm. He knew that a young child was getting violently beaten at home. And what he did was, instead of help that child, instead of helping that child that was being sexually abused, and instead of helping those other children that he knew about as well, oh, did I say, oh, 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 oh. It looks like you've got an unpaid debt, brother, uh, Beelzebub Henry. An unpaid karma debt. Now, I don't have nothing to do with that, honey. You know, I'm just a messenger, honey, but um, you reap what you sow. Isn't that that scripture that you've been reading all your life, honey, boo? And you still hadn't learned that lesson, honey? Mm. Well, at least you got a nice suit on and a nice tie to, um, you know, front the front, honey. <laughs> To fake the fuck, right? Fake it till you make it. Isn't that what they say, honey? <laughs> Have you been faking it all these years, honey? Because <laughs> you've yet to make it, honey. <laughs> oh, honey, let me stop teasing you, honey. You're just such a precious boogaboo, ain't you? Mm -hmm. 
Looking so, um, you know, I think you like your um, power trips and your ego trips. Well, <laughs> how you like that, honey boo? How you like cleaning them toilets hmm? and wearing that dress? Look at you. You better smile when you clean them toilets. You best to smile when you clean them toilets. That's right. Look at that beautiful JW.org ring. I didn't know they had a gay JW.org. Isn't that the gay pride rainbow? <laughs> I don't know what this picture is supposed to mean, honey, with gay pride and Brother Beelzebub over here on his knees. And, and why are you wearing a women's dress, honey? Why are you wearing a women's dress? What is wrong with you? Have you not read Deuteronomy chapter 3, verses 87 through 967, honey? I mean, really? I don't understand, honey. And why are you wearing that blonde wig? You ain't even blonde, honey boo. And they, you better get to scrubbing, honey. I don't see you really. Look here, you need to be looking in the toilet bowl, not at me, honey, when you clean. How you gonna see all the dirt? You need to get that brush way up under there, honey, and make sure you get all that stuff that's caked around underneath the toilet seat, honey. Uh-uh, honey, you done been elder too long, honey. You best to get to that toilet cleaning. <laughs> you best to get to that toilet cleaning, honey, boo. Mm-hmm. Look at that toilet. Someone's got to clean them. Yeah, you better clean that toilet. Now, when I come back, I want to see that toilet. Spit and spit clean. Mm-hmm. That's what you get, honey. That's what you get, honey. Because Mama Boo, a.k.a. JW.O., Ain't gonna help you. They gonna have you obey that two witness rule to your own detriment, honey boo. To your own detriment. I'm telling you, you're gonna hang on to this thing. And they're gonna tell you, oh brother, hey, you're being persecuted. You should be honored from Jehovah. Jehovah gave you the privilege of being persecuted in this old wicked system, honey. And you're gonna be a prince and a king in the new system. But you go ahead and go on to jail for us, honey, because we ain't gonna uh, take this bag, honey. We're gonna leave you holding it all by yourself, honey. All by your lonesome self. <laughs> and honey, when, uh, I I got news for you, honey. Uh, jail, you're going to still be cleaning the toilets, but um, I don't know, honey. You know, they don't really like folks that hurt kids. And they don't really think that much of folks that enable that shit either. Excuse my French, honey. They don't really like that kind of idea in jail, honey. You know what they do to uh, people that uh, molest kids and that enable child molesters? Do you know what they do to them in jail, honey? <laughs> Well, I'm going to let you find that out possibly, honey. We'll see, honey. We will see, honey. But anyway, honey, that's a nice little dress you got on. <laughs> so, Zebedee Henry. How's it going, young man? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Last time I saw you... You had that same look on your face. Except you was handing it to somebody. You was handing it to me. <laughs> and so many other people are here. Isn't that something? You've made quite a name for yourself. Mm. Well, you and your friends. I heard it through the grapevine. Well, I heard. I heard, honey. I heard through the grapevine, honey boo, that um, there was rumors about some kind of uh, class action lawsuit, honey. I don't know, but um, this young man right here in Florida, honey, he might be looking for some people to call him, honey. I think he wants you to go ahead and give him a call if you're interested in the uh, class action lawsuit that some folks have been talking about. I think there's more than one, honey. I thought there was only one class action lawsuit, honey, but I'll be darned, honey. There is more than one or two, three, four. I don't know, honey. It's a lot of these things going around, honey, but this lawyer right here, honey, he might want, want to get in on the on the jig too, honey. <laughs> anyway, honey, call him if you're interested. 877-667-4265. Now, honey... I'm not endorsing this lawyer. I don't know anything about this lawyer, honey. 
I'm just, t you know, telling you gossip, honey, that I heard through the grapevine, honey. I heard it through the grapevine. Mm -hmm, honey, Morgan and Morgan, honey, representing the people, not the powerful. Well, honey, I'm sure somebody's going to call you. I'm going to call you a little later, honey. I just called to say class action lawsuit. <laughs> need to go on and uh, do the right thing. You need to go on and obey the law, the mandatory reporting law. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a child. Sex abuse enabler. You go from door to door. You want to tell other people they're going to be destroyed at some end of the world. And you want to tell yourself that you're better than the rest of the world out here. That you're even better than your own fellow members. You're just a notch above those rank and file ones because you're what? An elder? Yeah. But outside of that little bubble, you ain't shit. And you know what? Yeah, I said it. You are an a enabler. Well, honey, if he's enabling child sexual abuse, is he actually doing that too? I mean, that's the first thing anybody would ask themselves upon discovering that this man does that. Yeah, you know what else he does? He likes to bully people. He likes to bully kids that are abused, that he knows are being abused. He likes to go and bully them. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 I guess he's made an impact on you, honey boo. <laughs> at him. He's looking out there, reflecting on the world, honey, reflecting on his life. Mm -hmm. Feeling good about himself and sleeping like a baby. Mm -hmm. But um, Brother Beelzebub, Brother Beelzebub, Henry the Third, turd, are there some uh, secrets that you forgot to tell your family, honey? Because, <laughs> um, well, 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 well. Mm -hmm. I think there's some secrets that um, you forgot to tell your family, honey. And I think a couple of your friends have too, honey boo. Shall we mention their names? Oh, honey, what is this? There is an XJW in Washington that is getting a lawyer for a class action lawsuit, honey, against the Watchtower. Please call 877-667-4265, honey boo. She said that's the number, honey. If enough people call and list any kind of damages, the lawyer, well, I don't know if he will do it, honey, but he may. <laughs> I'm going to call Monday, honey, and please pass that number out. We have got to get everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Who own it? <laughs> honey, Jehovah ain't gonna let you do all of that, honey. Jehovah is all powerful, honey. Okay, if a few elders then went to prison, so what, honey? <laughs> they they were the ransom sacrifice, honey. We can do that. We can sacrifice anybody at ransom, honey. And at random, honey. Look at this. This is Brother Billy Boo right here. Uh and brother um Billy Boo, Brother Beelzebub. <laughs> this is Brother Beelzebub Henry right here, honey. And... Okay, honey, see what had happened was... <laughs> I don't know, honey. I'm not going to say anything else, honey. Mm -hmm. But um, he been up to something, honey. He been up to something. Tell me something good. Whoa, oh, oh. Somebody's watching me, who's playing tricks on me, whoa. Yeah, honey. Shake it, baby. Woo! Woo! Look at that, baby. Look at Brother Morris. Do it, Brother Morris. <laughs> and look at this brother here. 
Yeah, whatever his name is, honey. <laughs> I'm sure he's somebody. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Shake them tight pants. Shake them tight pants, Tony. Tony, tight pants, mom. It's the third turn, bro. <laughs> it's the third turn, too. Woo! Look at him go. Woo! Uh-oh, what happened, baby? Don't let the devil stop you, bro. Don't let the devil stop you. Shake it. Shake it how your mama taught you to make it, honey. Shake your money maker. Come on now. Hurry up. Don't stand over there and just move. You better shake it. He a little shy, honey. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that. Zealous for Jehovah. He ain't so zealous for Jehovah. He ain't shaking his booty for Jehovah. In tight pants, honey. In tight, tight pants. So tight, you gotta shake it. <laughs> shake that booty and look at him right here. Look at him. He has admiration in his eyes. Yeah, baby. Woo! Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm the kid star. Woo! 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 Always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, honey, look at this. This is Brother Bill's Bob Henry right here, honey. You see, he was wordly like a wordly person, and then he got baptized, honey. He got dunked and all of that good stuff. I mean, he was dunked like a donut, honey. Bam. And then the true personality came out, honey. Mm hmm That's a lot of folks that are that are very um impressed with uh, this brother, honey. Uh, Sister Smith has been hearing a lot of interesting things around the congregation and in the neighboring congregations, honey. I'm telling you, there's been some satellite ears out there, honey. Some sonar, sonar ears, honey. I'm telling you, honey. All kinds of information. Wasn't even hard to get at, honey. Didn't even have to ask, really. <laughs> I'm telling you, honey. Stuff is just flowing every which way to me, honey. Boo! Anyway, honey, I'm going to tell you something. This sister over here, she is not very pleased with this uh, brother Beelzebub Henry over here because he is very arrogant and power hungry. Mm hmm And then he likes to bully young girls, honey. See this young girl right here? He has been bullying her for quite a while. And the way he does it, honey, he likes to pick out those kids that he knows are being abused because he's an elder who has privileged information. You know that kind of information that only stays with the body of elders. <laughs> yeah, and so what he likes to do is uh, choose those kind. Mm -hmm. The ones he knows that'll never be able to fight back. He just knew that was never, ever going to be told to anybody, was it, honey boo? You just knew that, honey, and this brother right here has a little something about him, too, because, see, he did him kind of dirty, too. But we're going to leave that for another day, honey. <laughs> and then, honey, those other brothers, they really thinking about going to the police, honey. I'm telling you, honey, it's going on. Look at this right here. This is Brother Tony Morris in the gym. But I have to say, honey, you've been, you need to learn how to pull back from the kitchen table a little bit, boo. Because, um... I have to say, this is quite disgusting, honey. You are a glutton, honey. I have to say, I can't even make an excuse. I'm so disappointed in seeing my governing body so gluttonous, honey, when we have brothers in Africa starving and dying. Maybe you need to, I don't know, honey. We really need to have some changes here, because this is disgusting, honey. Oh, do you even get up out of bed? Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> This is uh, Sister Smith every time she sees Brother Beelzebub's picture, honey. She loves looking at his picture every day, honey. <laughs> and this is the governing body sending out that letter telling all the elders to destroy um, any records of child sexual abuse. To destroy all those records, which uh, Brother Beelzebub Henry is strictly obeying. Yeah, mm -hmm. the governing body. Mm hmm Look at all this gossip going around. Mm hmm All kinds of gossip. Girl. Are we still at the same party since the last time? No, girl, this is a new gossip party. <laughs> but look 
at this, honey. These Jehovah's Witnesses ain't got nothing but beer in these bags. There is nothing but liquor in these grocery store bags. Where is the food? Y'all are some drunk people. These are some drunk Jehovah's Witnesses. And who is he looking at? He is like looking out in space like he is high. It's already some high and some drugs and alcohol in this uh, picture, honey. Because he's not even, he acts, he's looking, he's, he looks like he's not even in this party, honey. Like he's not even all there. And he's about to take that whole bag of booze somewhere by himself. <laughs> yeah, honey, Sister Smith would do that too, honey. <laughs> this is our uh, brother, um, Billy Boo. <laughs> This is Brother Billy Boo, and he's a faithful sheep and loyal servant of Jehovah, honey. So what does that remind you of, honey boo? I said, what does that remind you of, honey boo? Jehovah's marvelous creation, of course. <laughs> oh, here's Jehovah dog, baby. Look at that. Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah dog is still perturbed, honey, after all this time. You see, this is another Jehovah's Witness right here. This was a faithful pioneer, sister, honey. She sat out in that carts for years and years and years. She sat out at the coffee shop and drank her cold coffee and had all her watchtowers spread out. Mm -hmm. She was so spiritual until they discovered she was a little unholy. Mm -hmm. But um, the elders, you know, they were like, well, let's just wait on the new system to, for uh, Jehovah to fix that, you know, since there's not any two witnesses or anything like that. So they didn't call the police or nothing, and she ended up hurting a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, well, this is another one of Jehovah's Witnesses right here. Yeah, he's a nice elder like Brother uh, Beelzebub Henry. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Well, they had blanked him out. Oh, who is that right there? Look, it's Beelzebub. <laughs> you know, this is a real possibility, Brother Beelzebub Henry. I have to say, it's a real possibility for you, honey. I don't know. Do you know? Well, anyway, what do you think about this picture right here? Looks like you gained a little weight. I don't know. I guess, you know, sitting in a... Two by four, whatever, the, how big them cells are. You don't get much exercise anymore, honey. But maybe you need to, I don't know, run, run a few laps, honey. Mm. Well, I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> You're kind of chunky, honey. Oh, look, this is um, how to associate with your God, jw.org, see? You got the, the logo right here next to the Kingdom Hall sign, and, and you got the logo here ne next to the light switch, and then you got the logo again when you're eating your dinner. You have to look at it as you chew on your sandwich and drink your uh, milk, and then in the car, as you get in your car for work in the morning, you have to put it there and look at it there, and then when you're in the garden, you have to look at it there and reflect and meditate on it there, and then when you're at the Kingdom Hall, you have to look at it there, and reflect on it there, honey. And you're just a JW. All JW. Oh, baby, that is beautiful, honey. That is so beautiful. Look at that. When you move, when you move this way, it has all kinds of beautiful colors. Oh, baby, look at them books. Oh, look at that. That is. Look at that. You see that, honey? Oh, look at that. And look at this, honey. Whoa, 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 look. Yeah, honey boo. So, um, all of these worldly books looking pretty this morning, honey. These worldly books is looking pretty. Science, your honey. Mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and astronomy for all, honey. Trivium, honey boo, the classical liberal arts of grammar, logic, and rhetoric, even though logic is supposed to be studied before the grammar. And this grammar right here, baby, this grammar right here is not the grammar that you learn in school. This is the general grammar. Yeah, baby. Sister Smith is having a hard time with these worldly books, honey. 
I'm supposed to be reading the Watchtower, but I guess I'm going to check this out about uh, logic, honey, because logic is very interesting, honey. Look at this. Boolean algebra, honey. True or false, boo. And logical problems, language riddles. Woo, that is so interesting, honey. Sorites and other famous paradoxes. Oh, that rhymes, honey, boo. And, um, let me see. Axioms, I like axioms, honey. And logical expansion. I'm going to use that in field service, honey. Syllogistic fallacies. Oh, I have spotted a lot of syllogistic fallacies and informal fallacies and even formal fallacies in the watchtower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boo. Statements and arguments, honey. Oh, look at this right here. This is interesting. This is like math. Oh, honey, this is like uh, algebra and, 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 and English put together. Cats and mammals, honey. I didn't know that. I didn't know cats and mammals, honey boo. <laughs> I'm just joking, honey. I know what that's supposed to mean. It means SSP, honey. It's a predicative statement. That means that uh, the most simple statement where S is the subject, honey, and pre <laughs> P is the predicate. Did you get that? Good, honey, because I didn't. I still got to read back over and look at that. Somebody highlighted that. A true XJW, honey, digging around in these worldly books. Get this book out of here. I don't care if they're pretty. Get these books out of here, honey. Get them out of here. <laughs> Look at her. She is so zealous. She is so happy. She is so happy standing next, sitting next to this. She's excited, honey. She's got all kinds of excitement. Mm -hmm. Look at her. I'm gonna get me a I'm gonna get me an elder a husband, honey. I'm gonna get me that husband. You see all of this right here? You see all this I set up? I bought this car just to do this. I'm gonna get me that man. You just wait and see. Okay, girl, you go and do your thing, honey. Let me see what you got. Free Bible study, free Bible literature, ask your for your language. Now this is really stupid. I have to say, if you don't know how to read English. How the hell are you going to ask for your language? <laughs> and if you do know how to read, ask for your language, again, why would you need your language? You can read English. I think this is really stupid, honey. <laughs> oh, well, this is no laughing matter, honey. This is real serious. And Sister Smith really needs you to go on and do the right thing. If you suspect any kind of abuse, you need to go on to report that, boo. Lest you go to jail. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, honey. Y'all didn't mean to gossip, but, you know, I'm just relaying facts. You know, you might want to Google that one more time, honey, boo. Mm-hmm. You might want to Google that one more time. And then, honey, I think you might want to let your family know uh, some of those secrets, because... Honey, I really don't want to out you on my own. You know, I want to give you a chance to uh, tell your, uh, all of your secrets to your family. Before, uh, you know, they might leak. <laughs> I won't tell a soul, honey. I promise. I will not tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what the Jehovah's Witnesses do? We do that at the Kingdom Hall. We all we go around telling each other, don't now, don't tell anybody, because I you're the only one who knows. And then not only does the other person go run and tell the first person they can, but your ass goes and tells too. I mean, come on, how can you get in there and tell somebody not to tell a soul when you were the one spreading your own gossip? That is some crazy stuff, honey boo. <laughs> But, honey, we ain't talking about Beelzebub in this instance, honey, because I don't think he gossips, honey. I don't think he meddles in other people's affairs like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, boo. You better clean them toilets. You better clean them Kingdom Hall toilets. For Mama J, Big Daddy J, Big Daddy J, Big Daddy Jehovah, 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 Jehov
Yep, yep, yep. So anyway, honey, this is what we got today. This is all we got today. We got some secrets that um, some folks have forgot to tell their family members, and you know. Look at all of that right there. Ooh, that's so nasty. Ugh. Run.